What's up, everybody? Happy holidays. Here with my Uncle Bob. <laughs> Older. Wiser. Robbie's side is called Uncle Bob, so now that I have a kid, I call him Uncle Bob because I I like it. Anyway, we're here with a Code 8 update. It's I know it's, I know it's been a minute. We're going to bring everyone up to speed. Uh, 2019 is the year of Code 8. It's the year that it's going to come out, and it's very, very exciting. I know that it has been a while. I promise you guys that it's going to be worth it. As of right now, the movie is picture locked. Yep. VFX is still happening. Yes. Composing is still happening. Yeah, we have an amazing composer. But Same guy as the short film. How long is it? Uh, it's 90 minutes. All right. It's so good. 90 it's a ride. minutes. It is a fast 90 minutes. I saw it in Amsterdam in May mm -hmm. or possibly June. And this was when it still had a bunch of storyboarding and stuff like that for additional shots that we did this past June. But um, we're really, really happy with it. Really, really proud of it. So we're going to tell you guys a little bit about premieres and what's going to happen in 2019. And above all that, thank you for contributing to the campaign. And thank you, thank you, thank you very much for your patience. Yeah. Making Again, a movie is hard. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have thunk it? <laughs> you know what you I guys. mean? Um, creating a dystopian future and making a movie and you know building out the world and creating something that you want to look like a hundred million dollar movie yeah. for a it's gonna feel it's huge it's gonna feel really big um jeff has been working his ass off in toronto mm -hmm. uh the guys at play fight doing the visual effects chris uh who wrote it has been helping with uh, skinner our editor it's been unreal we have amazing people working on it and uh it's finally picture locked um it's it's well worth it i promise guys you guys are gonna love it premieres I'm going to take you down the list right here. Vancouver and Los Angeles are looking to happen in the month of April. We will have specific dates. When do you think? Uh, I would say by the end of January, we will have our locked premiere dates. Great. Vancouver, Los Angeles, looking for the month of April. Yep. Toronto, Dallas, Chicago, New York, Miami. We're looking for the month of May, somewhere between the beginning of the month of May and like the weekend of the 16th, 17th, 18th-ish, whatever the, that Friday, Saturday, Sunday is. Yeah. For London, we are looking to do it either just before or just after Heroes and Villains Fan Fest, which I will be returning for this year. I know that hasn't been announced officially. So you're looking the week of, I think the Saturday, Sunday 26, is May 24th, 25th. 25th. Yeah. So somewhere on either side of that. We're also going to be having Australian premieres, which we are working at. I'm going to be back in Australia for stuff in June, late June, as is Robbie. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited going to be, about stuff. I'm going to be in Sydney, and I'm going to be in Perth. Do the math on this one, and we're going to be doing premieres <laughs> then, and I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, those are all the premieres. Uh, we, we have two premieres in Australia currently. We may add a third, depending on... We may add a third. Uh, demand. Um, in Melbourne. We're trying to add a third in Melbourne. There's no need to be coy. We're trying to add yeah. a third in Melbourne. Exactly. Uh, we've uh, Everything else has been awesome. I mean, the the premiere tickets are going to be for sale, mm -hmm. uh, leading right up until when we, when we deliver on them. Um, and um, some of the ones that sounded like they were going to be multiple nights, now we just may get to use bigger, bigger theater and make them kind of these big blowout premieres. Uh, we are going to make sure that these are awesome nights for you guys because they're awesome nights for us. We're really excited about them. Um, I won't watch the movie. <laughs> I'll be there beforehand and then I'll duck out and see you guys afterwards. It's really cool that we're going to get to share this with you guys and our families. Uh, I know a lot of them are going to be at the Toronto premiere, maybe the LA premiere. Mm -hmm. We have friends coming to the Vancouver premiere. Uh, we will have friends come, you know, some special guests to to all the different premieres. And... Um, we're just going to make sure there's something really special for you guys and something you'll remember for um, hopefully as long as we do. I also know that there has been a little bit of a dearth of content in mm -hmm. terms of updates from us. Um, that's no one's fault, except there really hasn't been a ton to talk about. That's all going to change starting in 2019 on a weekly basis. I don't know if it'll be the same day every week, but on a weekly basis leading up to the premieres, you're going to be hearing from Michael and... Michael and Davin. Michael and Davin. Uh, who have done an amazing job running uh, the campaign. Uh, it's not their fault at this point. There just hasn't, like Steve said, there hasn't been much they to They keep coming you. to us and say, what can we say? Yeah, and we're like, we can, you can't say anything yet. The movie's got to be finished. So the movie is locked. 
the information will start rolling in. There will be weekly updates. Check uh, the Code 8 Facebook page. Check your emails. Check Steve's Facebook page. Check, check my Facebook page. Um, and, you know, is, whether it's a small update or a big important update with finalized premiere dates, we will give you something. That's it. Yeah, it's good. It's so good. I want to make a trailer, but I'm getting pushed back. We'll, we'll, there will be something. I know there will we'll be give something. You something. We'll give you a little something. We'll but something. It, um, it, it's really, really exciting to watch. I, again, like I, I really can't overstate. I know that you guys contributed to something because you were either a fan of Robbie or a fan of me or a fan of the short or a fan of Jeff or, um, you know, j yeah. just a, a fan of genre films mm -hmm. like this. But um, we didn't shoot it in the backyard with, with yeah. an old VHS like camcorder. We, we made a really awesome movie, and um, we're so proud of it, and we can't wait for you guys to see it. Yeah, we had to make sure it was worth it. <laughs> we had we had to make sure we delivered on our promises. That's right. It just took that's a little right. longer than we thought. Okay, that's it. I have nothing else to say. Thanks, guys. Good night. <laughs>